Hello everyone, the car is running right now. I just got home from work early. I have a couple of uh, appointments to get to this afternoon. But uh, the cell is fully warmed up. It is, it is seeing right now 13.35 volts across the cell. Twenty two amps. So thirteen point five volts, twenty two amps. I'm going to disconnect the outlet tube here. Whoa, did you hear that? Engine RPMs dropped. Gotta like that. And get the stopwatch ready. I don't know how many watts this is yet, but I'll do the calculations in a second. I just wanted to uh, take this measurement before before I shut down. The cell is running at about 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is fully warmed up. And one, two, three, start. Ten seconds, and I'm already at almost 250 milliliters. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 seconds. And that was the electric fan for my uh, radiator you just heard come on. So, 500 milliliters, 23 seconds. Thirteen and a half volts, twenty-two amps. I'll have the numbers for you in just a sec. And the results are one point three zero four liters per minute at two hundred and ninety-four watts in for an efficiency of four point forty-four milliliters per minute per watt. Pretty much what I expected. The efficiency has remained about the same. And uh, for a linear increase in the wattage input, we have proportionately increased the, the gas output to 1.3 liters per minute. Uh, definitely looking for a little bit more than that. I can probably increase the concentration of the electrolyte a little bit more, boost the current from 22 up to, uh, I don't know, 25, 26 amps when it's fully warmed up. Uh, there is a, a very large current shift when, when it's cold. Uh, when this when this cell is stone cold in the morning, it's only drawing about 11 amps. So there's uh, a twofold increase in the uh, electrolyte. It's almost uh, worth it, perhaps maybe, to preheat the cell so that you can uh, regulate the concentration of the electrolyte that way. That's it for this test. Uh, hope you folks have uh, been enjoying the series. I uh, I don't want to sound like a beggar, but I really do need some donations to help move these projects along. Uh, there is some very specialized equipment and materials that I need to purchase in order to achieve the next phase of the research on the HHO production. Uh, I will be building a, a larger version of the same cell very soon, which uh, has approximately twice as many plates, but again that's not the quantum leap that I'm looking to achieve here okay we're still we're still at about 60 percent Faraday efficiency at the most maybe a little less um, I'm looking for something closer to the order of uh, 10,000 percent Faraday okay that's uh, that's the kind of quantum leap that I believe is is achievable but uh, again takes money takes specialized equipment I did clean up my bench and I've got a little bit more room to work, so please get on board. Zero Fossil Fuel, signing off for now. Hope you are having as much fun as I am.